so good morning children i am arke das today i am going to teach you about the topic excretion in human beings and plant this is the topic for class 10 biology children first of all you should know what is excretion excretion is the removal of unwanted nitrogenous waste from the body these nitrogenous waste include urea uric acid creatinine which are removed from time to time in the form of urine there is a basic difference between excretion and ejection excretion is the elimination of metabolic waste whereas ejection involves expulsion of undigested matter from the body excretory system in human consist of various organs as you can see in the slide it consists of a pair of kidneys which is considered as the main excretory organ remove urea and uric acid a pair of lungs excrete carbon dioxide from the body then liver also eliminate nitrogenous waste skin eliminates water and sweat now we will study about the structure and the function of human excretory system the excretory system in human that is basically a urinary system as the kidney is the main excretory organ it consists of a pair of kidneys at the top you will find the presence of adrenal gland the outer portion of the kidney is the cortex and the inner medulla you will find the presence of renal artery and the renal vein and there is a concave side of each kidney from that concave side you will find the emergence of the tubular structure which is called the ureter you will find here both right ureter and the left ureter associated with both the kidneys these ureter they merge into a muscular structure called urinary bladder this urinary bladder is having the spinster muscle and presence of the nerve cell which help in sensing the urge to urinate now each kidney is made up of nearly 1 million of nephron nephron is basically the structural and functional unit of kidney or we can say that nephron is the structural and functional unit of the excretion if you look at the structure of a single nephron you will find a cup like structure which is called the baumann's capsule now inside the baumann's capsule a group of capillaries or blood vessels are there which is called the glomerulus inside the glomerulus there is a filtration of the impure blood now you can see the presence of two blood vessels the afferent arteriole and efferent arteriole the afferent arteriole bring the impure blood into the glomerulus there is a filtration in the glomerulus at a very high speed and then you will find that at the base of the nephron there is a u shaped structure of the nephron tubule which is called hanley's loop the hanley's loop is linked with blood capillaries now if you look at the transverse section of the kidney you will find the outer portion of the kidney is the cortex the inner portion is the medulla followed by the pelvis now we will concentrate with human urinary system as you can see here that right kidneys and left kidneys are linked with the blood vessels as you can see here the renal artery 
and the renal vein. The renal artery carry oxygenated laden blood with waste products whereas renal veins carries deoxygenated blood from which waste products have been removed. Now you can see here the presence of the right ureter and the left ureter emerging from the right kidney and the left kidney and both the ureter they merge in a muscular structure called urinary bladder. Now you will find the presence of the aorta linked with both the kidney and this aorta is the largest artery and you will find the vena cava which is called the great veins they are also linked with the kidney then you will find the presence of urethra at the base of the urinary bladder that helps in removing urine after that you will find that some excretory organs eliminates various waste as you can see here in the slide that the liver they produce urea and uric acid as the nitrogenous waste this urea is formed by the deamination of amino acids and uric acid is formed by the breakdown of nucleic acid or DNA and these are the nitrogenous waste and also the body cells undergoing cellular respiration as a result of cellular respiration you will find that carbon dioxide and water are formed this carbon dioxide is eliminated through the lungs and the water is eliminated in the form of sweat through the skin surface after that you will find the ultra structure of the kidney as we have discussed that the outer portion of the kidney is the cortex inner portion is the medulla in the medullary region you will find the several pyramids then you will find at the base of the pyramids the papilla is there and then you will find in the cortex region there are presence of some blood vessels after that you will find that in the nephron that how the urine formation occurs first of all you will learn about the different steps of the urine formation basically there are three steps of urine formation uh, first is glomerular filtration water and solutes smaller than proteins are forced through the capillary walls and pores of the glomerular capsule into the renal tubule this glomerular filtration occurs in the glomerulus region inside the Bowman's capsule with a higher speed then second step is tubular reabsorption that in the nephron tubule from time to time some substances like water glucose amino acids and some essential ions are transported out of the filtrate into the tubule cells and then enter the capillary blood third step in urine formation is tubular secretion hydrogen ion potassium ion creatinine and drugs are removed from the peritubular blood and secreted by the tubule cells into the filtrate now we will study about the artificial kidney or hemodialysis that see the slide of the artificial kidney that some patients whose kidneys are badly damaged means the kidneys are not able to filter the blood or kidney is highly infected there is a uh, severe kidney disease in that case the kidneys has to be grafted from the close relative till that period waste products are removed with the help of the hemodialysis or it is also called artificial kidney this artificial kidney is based on the principle of dialysis or separation of smaller solutes or ions from larger particles with the help of ultra filtration now we will study about 
excretion in plants. Plants do not produce waste like urea, uric acid as found in human. They produce some other type of waste. These waste products in plants called secondary metabolites. Second is excess of water in plant is released in the form of water vapor and this release of water vapor is called transpiration. Transpiration occurs through the stomata which are found on the surface of the leaf. Even during night time, gutation occurs in some grasses during night time through the lenticels. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are also excreted through the stomata. Even there are some excretory products formed in plants and trees. These excretory products are tannins, resins, alkaloids, latex, gums, organic acids. Now you will find in the next slide that how the through the stomata the oxygen which is produced as a byproduct of photosynthesis they are released and they are also a, a product of excretion from plants as you can see here that how that oxygen is released how excess water is also released how the co2 in excess is released through the stomata and how the co2 enters through the stomata that has been shown here at the last we'll see the slide that how gaseous exchange occurs through the stomata and water vapor is also lost during transpiration that has been shown here that O2 and CO2 are excreted by diffusion into the air and water vapor also diffuse through the stomatal pore. So that's end of today's topic. Thank you all of you.